Welcome to Godly Play. Watch where I go to get the story. Hmm. It's not with the sacred stories, but we do need this. And it's not with the parables. Hmm. Here it is. Time. There's a time to get up in the morning. There's a time to eat breakfast. There's a time to eat lunch. There's a time to go to school and come home from school. There's a time to eat dinner. There's a time to eat dinner. There's a time to go to sleep. And there's a time to go to sleep. There's a time. But what is time? What is time? Hmm. hmm. Wait, what's this? Chilling. Some people think time is a line. <laughs> no. And it just goes straight and straight. See, that was the beginning. Now it's new. And more time is going. Oh, and now that new time is getting old. Here's the new time. The beginning is getting old. And here's the end. It ended. But the end of time is the newest part. Time is strange because we have a beginning that's old and an end that's new. And the middle is oh. Do you know what the church did? What? The church has tied together the end that is like a beginning and the beginning that's like an end. And in church, time is a circle. Here, here are the three special times of our year in church. Christmas, and Easter, and Pentecost. Ouch. It's hot. Not hot to me. These are the very special times for the church. They're mysteries. And these mysteries are straight in the middle of our year. And a lot of people wouldn't even know that they were there if we didn't have time to get ready to come close to the mystery. So our church calendar has special times for coming close to the mystery. The time to come close to the mystery of Christmas is called 
Advent. Advent? And there are four weeks to get ready for Christmas in Advent. Oh, and the, that means it's almost Christmas. And the times that we use to get ready for Easter are called Lent. Lent. And there are six weeks in Lent because Easter is the biggest mystery of all. And Easter is such a big mystery that it can't even fit into one week. All of the weeks of Easter are necessary to get ready for Pentecost. Look. Easter just keeps going and going and going. Owl hot. Okay. And then we have Then after Pentecost, we have these ordinary Sundays. These green growing Sundays of our year. Are there any other greens? These are all the times of our church calendar. We have the three very important times, Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost. Okay, let's see if I can make the year again. We'll start with our three special times, Christmas, wait, I would like to tell this story. Christmas, Easter, Pentecost. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. And then we have the times where we get ready for Christmas. And that's four special weeks called Advent. Right? We have the special weeks to get ready for Easter called Lent. And I'm very happy you want to help me, but it's my job to tell this story. So I'd like you to sit down and let me be the one to tell the story for right now. Okay? Okay, so we have our time to get ready for Christmas called Advent and our time to get ready for Easter called Lent. And Easter is so important that it overflows. There's one week of Easter, two weeks of Easter, three weeks of Easter, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Eight weeks of Easter to get ready for Pentecost. Pentecost. Yeah. And then there's never more than nine ordinary weeks between Christmas and Lent, so we'll start with those. Okay, remember, it's my job to tell the story. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Now I'm going to touch Pentecost real quick to scoot it back. Hot. And then 
we have the Sundays after Pentecost. One. This is like the beginning of the summer. Two. Three. Okay, we don't need to count these ones because we are going to think about what's happening right now. This is like the very beginning of the summer. School's all done. You're going home. The days are getting longer and longer and longer. And there's animals everywhere and plants everywhere. Some people are going on vacation. Why not? Some people are yeah. going on vacation in town. Some people are going on vacation in town, especially this year. And then the days start to get shorter again. And it starts to be time to go back to school. And when you go back to school, you have a new teacher and maybe some new clothes, maybe some new books. And now this is about the time when you're used to everything at school. Everything seems old again and the days are getting shorter and shorter, shorter. which means it's getting dark earlier and earlier. It's actually this. And just, just when it seems like the days are getting so short that it's going to be dark forever. That's when we start to have Advent. Advent. Which is the time when we get ready for the mystery of Christmas. Yeah. That's all the Purple is the color that we use for Advent sometimes because that's a color that people associate with kings. And Jesus was a king and he was born on Christmas. But some people use the color blue for this time because that's the color for the Mother Mary. And there would be no baby Jesus without Mother Mary. And then after Christmas, um, no we baby. come to Lent. And Lent is purple again because that's a color that's associated with kings. Mama, and what if that was a Mama Mary? Then there wouldn't be any baby Jesus. And after Lent, which is the color of kings, which Jesus was a king, but not the kind of king that people expected, is Easter. And Easter is the greatest mystery of all. And Easter, in some ways, was very sad because Jesus died. But in another way, Jesus was very joyful because the apostles got to know Jesus in a new way. And this whole time during Easter, the apostles experienced Jesus, Why did Jesus in a very die? new, special way. Why did, did Jesus did, die? Did Jesus die when it was Easter? Yes, and that's another story that we'll have another time. Why on day? And so on Pentecost, the apostles had seen Jesus go up. And then on Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came down and it filled the apostles and they were more alive than they had ever been. At, at the night, to God again to die. And they spoke with tongues that were like fire. And that's why we say Pentecost is hot because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And so, this is our church year. We have all the time we need. <coughs> Mama. I wonder. I have the haircuts. I wonder what your favorite color is. I am. Blue. I wonder what the most important color is. <coughs> I wonder how these colors make you feel. I wonder if you'll see these colors the next time you come to church. Watch where I go to put away the story.
next time you're here, you can play with any of these stories. What about the sandbox?